Hello Dr Pi, so are you going to be able to write some code with Python to enable you to interpret your G-code and uh, start controlling some motors properly? Yes, strange you should ask that because that's exactly what we're going to be doing today. I'm going to write some code in Python which will take some XYZ coordinates in an approximate kind of G-code format and control the motors so um, yeah let's get going. Could you give us a brief overview and then go into some more detail? Thanks! Yeah well I'll describe my basic understanding of g-code to begin with and um, then we'll look at the actual structure of the Python file. So what is g-code? Tell us! G-code which has many variants is a common name for the most widely used numerical control programming language. It is used mainly in computer-aided manufacturing to control automated machine tools. G-code is a language in which people tell computerized machine tools how to make something. Source, Wikipedia. Could you use G-code to tell your kettle to make you a cup of coffee or tea? Do you want me to hit you in the head with a cricket bat? No, I was just asking. I was wondering if you can control any type of machine. Or has it got to be a special machine? Well, the machine needs to be described as a CNC machine, a CNC mill, a CNC router. It's got to have CNC in the name. You got it? All right? Yeah, I think I understand that now. Thanks for explaining, Dr. Pi. You're actually quite helpful, really, aren't you? Anyway, I've got to go. Don't forget to subscribe, everybody. Bye! Right, well... I'm sorry about our little friend. He thinks he's helping, but he's not. What we're looking at is my finished Python code, which will read X, Y, and Z coordinates. Yeah, um, Z will follow, actually. Just for testing and um, fine-tuning the code, I've been controlling X and Y today will control the two motors using um, it will read a text file which contains my simplistic G code now the G code begins with G01 in this case uh, which is then followed by a space and then it's followed by X and a number and then a space and then Y and then a number um, I'll read each line so each line in the text file will consist of an X and a Y value. So I'll read those in sequence. I'll move X, Y for that line, move to line 2, X, Y again. And um, for testing, I'm reversing the motors by the same distance that I'm moving them forward. You'll see I've, I've used functions here, so I've written functions with F steps and B steps. F steps means forward steps, B steps means backward steps. Um, this is all very dependent on how you wire the motors and it, which end you put your motors, so that is trial and error. You need to run run the code, see which direction the motors go and then cross-reference it back to your code. Once you know that then I've also um, decided to only have one function uh, called jog which will um, it will choose the axis in bracket, i.e. axis equals motor so x axis equals um, the NEMA motor on the x-axis and y-axis is the NEMA motor on the y-axis. I'm waffling. Anyway, I pass, I look in the um, the g-code file and obviously x15 or x100 or whatever begins with x. I strip that out and then that x is passed as a parameter to the jog function. So jog axis, so it knows which motor to send the code to, and then delta. Delta is the change, the change in distance. So it's not um, it's not relative to zero. It's relative to the point or the coordinate which it finished at on its previous move. If that makes sense. If it doesn't, 
how can I explain it? If you've got a motor and it moves 10 steps, then stops for line 1, and then line 2 says 20, uh, you're actually beginning from 10 already, so 10 plus 20, so you'll end up at 30, rather than starting from 0 again. That's why I've called it delta, because it's the change. It's quite a sort of a, a fundamental CNC concept, really. Um, so yeah, the, the jog function is the one and only function for moving the motors. The jog function uses the x and y functions. Um, You can see I've also done if delta is greater than zero and if delta is less than zero. So I'm actually looking for um, a minus or a plus. Obviously, there's no plus on the on the G code, so um, it will just move forwards or backwards depending on whether the number is um, the the integer is uh, a minus or or um, a positive, positive not having a plus sign in front of it anyway. Def L I forget what I've called it. It's fuzzy. L I F R load input file run. That's what L L I F R stands for. The input file. Um, just for testing and to get the ball rolling, I've called it job.txt. Job.txt is what you saw at the start. It just has lines with G01 and then X15, Y20, new line, G01, X30, Y25, and so on. Um, with open file name as F, for line in F, it will just go through every single line in the file. So line by line, it will read it, and then as it's reading each line, it will pick out <coughs> the X value and the Y value and move the motors accordingly. Um, I've tried to write this using minimum amount of code. Um, as you can see, X and Y so far, Z will follow. I'm not actually going to demonstrate this because you've seen it all moving backwards and forwards many times in previous videos. Um, if there's any questions, post them in the comments. This code is its actually a substitute for a Gerbil GRBL controller. If I had one of those, I could send uh, send the G-code using UGS or um, BCNC. I could send the, the G-code um, to the Gable controller. So what I've written here is effectively a, a, a poor version of a Gerbil controller. Um, now, what was I thinking next? Next, I need to create I need to try and create a file based from a CAD drawing and then um, output it to my very crude G-code format. So that's what I'm going to be doing next. Once I've done that, then I'm in business because, um, for instance, you know, I could draw something in CAD, um, ex export the XYZ coordinates in my crude format. I'll post that again at the end. Um, and then this Python file will pass it and uh, yeah, control the motors accordingly. I am waiting for stepper, motor, stepper drivers for my Proton here, hat, which could be a while, and also I am waiting for a spindle. So the next thing you'll see may actually be me drawing something in CAD, exporting as um, DXF, or I'll just be trying to get the XYZ coordinates out of it, and um, I may actually write another Python file or, or do something here which actually just um, strips out the XYs and Zs. 
at this moment I'm not interested in spindle speeds or anything like that which obviously is uh, or tool numbers which is obviously a whole new ball game in the big world of CNC so um, yeah a lot of talky today but um, if any of you are interested in code or want to experiment with writing your own CNC parser controller blah 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 then um, feel free to um, have a look at this, run it on your own machine, do what you want really, it's a free world, it, well allegedly. Um, I'm not even going to get involved in all that politics stuff because it's so depressing and uh, it's depressing me already and I think I'm going to go and have a cup of tea and I think you should too and I'm sorry about the high pitched idiot at the start, he keeps butting in and um, yeah he's gone. Oi, I heard that. I'm gonna get you. Don't forget to tell everyone to subscribe. <laughs>